next. It's Tommy. Hell yeah, dude. Tommy Versetti. Um. Yes, it's another destination battle. Yay, I guess. Yeah, this is kind of the whole game. It's just racing against dudes. But hey, aren't all PS2 racing games just racing against dudes? Like, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Let's think about it. Let's think about it honestly here, guys. Isn't that just every game? Anyway, um, yeah. But I was hoping that this game would be one of the easy ones where I'd be, oh boy, oh, we're turning. Oh, this is more turning than we did in either of the, uh, in either of the other previous races that we've done so far. This car just loves to, like, wander, doesn't it? Like, it just loves to just go all over the road and just, like, wiggle. This was supposed to be a chill game for me to just enjoy playing video games for once. I've been playing way too many games lately that just make me want to actually shoot myself. So I thought, let's play a game that's easy! Oh dear! Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. We got the mini-map down there. The uh, opposing arrow is... Oh, falling back. Okay. Alright, thankfully I don't think there's any damage in this game, so... We don't have to worry about that like in Juiced. Dude, I'm telling you, man. Juiced is one of my favorite games of all time. Unironically. Like... There's some games... Like, if I had to make a top five of my favorite games ever... I think, like, it would be, like, it's tough to pick one NASCAR game. 06, or 07 and 08 and are, like, my two favorite EA NASCAR games. 07 and 08. Oh, that's the end of the race. Nice. I barely even had to use Nitrous in that one. Sick. But, like, Juiced would be in there. God, fucking Vigilante 8 would be in there. We're up to $3,000. We're starting to make up all my losses from the uh, upgrade shop. From the car part shop. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. We are doing it. We are doing it. But, like, it's tough from there. Like, I guess maybe GTA... I'd have to put a GTA in there. But I don't know if I like San Andreas or Liberty City stories better. Do, do, does, does, has anyone, have I ever told the story of how I started my first ever, like, the first ever GTA game that I owned? It was GTA LCS on PS2. Have I ever told that story? I was like eight when I got that. Alright, we're facing the Charger, my toughest competitor yet. A Black Dodge Charger, uh-oh. Uh-oh, what's Warren's driver biography? Warren enjoys nothing more than flexing his American uh, muscle in this in the Tokyo Bay. Warren can maneuver his heavyweight charger like no other. His only weakness is his transmission. It's automatic. Same. Same, bruh. Same. Oh, damn, dude. Even in even this game is mess is it trying to emasculate me for having a fucking automatic charger. I can't go anywhere without being called out for that shit, dude. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. Oh my fucking goodness. Anyway. <laughs> I haven't looked lately. Maybe there's a good RT for sale somewhere. See, the thing is, is that the only reason I have a charger is because it's all-wheel drive. If it wasn't all-wheel drive, I wouldn't have it. And I think there's only, like, one type of charger today that has, like, a V8 and all-wheel drive. I, I, I mean, I'm not even 100% certain. Like, I'm, I, I know that there's one in town here. Someone's got a Charger RT that's all-wheel drive. But, like, I don't know if they took that functionality out of the newer ones and if it's just going to be, like, the fucking body style that I have now. Because I really don't even want a new car. Like, I'm happy. I am happy with my car. I don't really want a new one. So, yeah. But you see, the thing is, is that uh, it would be cool to have a uh, V8. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Well, something tells me we're not winning this one. Time out. 
I've got a timeout for that. I can't even fucking get the car facing the correct direction and it's giving me a timeout. Alright, well, something tells me I've not won this race. This dude is fucking spinning around too. Oh, he's all the way over there already. He, he was intentionally spinning around. That was supposed to happen. Uh-oh. Ugh. Go, car. Okay, this thing is alright. We are just not having a good time. Progression. Um, we've completed 2% of the game. Very good. Alright, well in that case, um, I think we're going to exit the event. Because something tells me we are not going to win this. Something tells me we need to get a little bit of an upgrade of some sort before we do that. Before we're beating Warren. We're probably going to need to buy a charger before we can beat Warren. Fuck. Anyway. <laughs> um, forget you saw anything. Imagine as if it were that you had slumbered on this day. Yeah. Did you expect to have a Shakespeare reference on Kamikaze Games today? I bet you didn't. Anyway, I guess we're leaving, because I can't beat fucking Warren. I think I can beat the guy after Warren, but, like, Warren is just really tough, because he's got a really fast car, and it's like, we gotta, we gotta fucking get some upgrades first. So the intelligent thing to do would be to grab a tire upgrade, and maybe the first stage of turbo. But you know what I think we should do? I think we should look at the map. What you're at is the Tokyo Bay. If you get lost, peep your map and follow the on-screen instructions. You can even scroll through different destinations and narrow your search with the filter option. Need to hook up your ride with the latest JDM parts? Look for the shops. And if it's a race you want, look for the hot spots I put on your map. Yes, indeed. There are dealerships in this game. There are many dealerships, as a matter of fact. Many uh, varieties. And there is a U.S. dealership, which is pretty funny. Here's Holland's Tune Shop. Let's fucking... Oh, I can warp there. I don't even have to drive there. Oh, I thought we were going to have to drive there. I would have gone straight to the U.S. Imports one first. But now let's head to the Mazda dealership. Let's see what kind of uh, Mazdas are available for, uh, for uh, consumption here. Let's find out together. All right. And the first thing we got is I could sell a vehicle here. Purchase vehicles. I have three thousand dollars. Yeah, sure. Okay, here's an RX-8 for twenty-four thousand. Another RX-8 for more than twenty-four thousand. Another RX-8. MX-5. Oh my goodness, dude! Nineteen thousand for an MX-5, dude. Oh, there's the uh, Infinity RX-7 again. That's pretty neat. Oh, there is nothing else available. All right. Well, as it turns out, I don't have enough money. Well, I don't have enough money to buy anything. But like, there isn't a lot of options, actually. So that's pretty sad. Well then. Question. How much is my car worth? Sell vehicles. I will sell my Toyota to the Mazda dealership. 17000 Alright, that ain't bad. That ain't bad. 17000 is a pretty solid starting spot. So that's a good uh, bargaining chip to have in my back pocket. Nice. Alright. Well... We've also, this also spawns us right next to Han's Tune Shop, which is good, I guess. Ugh, let me drive, let me drive, okay. Yeah, here we go. So we go over this side. We go over to this side and hit this. Yes, I want to enter Han's Tune Shop. I kind of need a tune. So we got turbo here. That's not enough for that. Which is an, a bit on the annoying side, but you know what? This barely makes it. This is barely any different right here. I mean, it's pretty different, but like, it's a good, it's a good, it's a good jumping off point. Let's slap that in. Two hundred two horsepower. Now I can get an intercooler finally. I can just not afford the best one, which sucks. Because fifty one would be very helpful. I just need another two hundred dollars. Fuck, dude. All I needed was two hundred. Fucking dollars. Well, we could, or, well, I mean, mm. Okay, tires. So, do I want to get the good drip grip tires at this level? The R compound tires are shaved to reduce the tread depth, making them even more responsive. Short of full racing slicks, you can't get more grip than this. Paired with an all wheel drive car, this setup provides incredible grip. Unfortunately, that is not what I have. Do I want to do drift tires instead? Yay. 
These are perfect for pro level power between 400 and 500 at the rear wheels. Well, that is not at all what I've got. This one's 350. This one wants 300 or less. Jesus. Okay. So actually, I want stage 2 drift tires. Let's slap those on. Now, okay, once I've purchased it, I have it forever. So maybe we go with, like, yeah. Maybe we go with uh, some the grip tires now. So we buy these. No, I'd have to buy this again. Fuck. All right, well, I just wasted some money. All right, well, it looks like I thought that when you fucking bought it, you had it forever. I guess I'm a fucking moron. So that means we're going to be doing the straight line races. We will not be drifting. I mean, maybe I can drift with these tires. Never know. All right, let's see if we're good enough to face off against Warren yet. Something tells me that uh, probably, probably not. Probably not would be my guess. But hey, you never know. You just gotta believe, man. You just gotta believe. All right, Warren. I've come for your bitch ass. Let's do it. I, I, but, like, this, you see, the thing is, is that the front end of this charger is, like, identical to mine. It's just the rear is just incorrect is all. That's the only difference. Like, they went, what, fucking six years without changing the front end, like... No, I went like 10 years without changing the front end on the chargers. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay, here we go. The loading screens on this game leave a lot to be desired. It must be said. It's a pretty, uh, pretty ridiculous. All right, here we go. Uh, okay, speed is happening. Warren is still very fast. Let's use nitrous. Okay. All righty then. Okay, I think we are in business now. Okay, we just needed an extra 50 horsepower is all. Easy, easy video game. Where is he at? There he is. Speed, maybe, question mark. Okay, he is still fast. That is concerning. Uh, oh. Alright, keep going, man. Keep going. Okay, we're actually right there with him, and these guys are incapable of getting through traffic. Oog! 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 Your car is at the very ass edge of control at all times, which is kind of fun, actually. It kind of does give you an extra little bit of layer of, uh, fun. Oh, dear. I've done the exact same thing again. Hang on, hang on. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, uh, oh, uh, we're fine. Okay. Okay, we're not fine. Use the boost. Okay. Okay, we're still in business here. Okay. We just had a little minor slip up there. There's a bus. Why is there a bus here? Okay. Okay, we're fine. We're fine, actually. Hey, we made it through the corner. And I only died like five or six times. Woo! Okay, now we're making it happen. And Warren is still fast. How about we use a little bit more Nitro? I don't know how many more turns there are. We need to save Nitro in case there's more turns. There's absolutely no indication on the screen where the end of the race is at. Ugh. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, he's right up my ass, but everything is fine, actually. It's fine. Everything's fine. Let's keep going fast. Let's keep doing the speed-related things. Oh, he is very fast, actually. Oh, he's very fast, actually. No, 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 it's the end of the race. Okay. All right. Okay, we got him. We got him, though. Hey, that's $2,000. Woo! Oh, dear. I think I bought a heavily underpowered car, and I'm in fact reaping. I'm in fact reaping. I have reaped what I have sown. I want to see another replay of that right there. I want to see a replay of that one. Yeah, see, that's not the rear end that I have. Very similar spoiler. I mean, they never changed the spoilers on them until the 2016 ones, right? But yeah. Oh, here it is. Here's the wreck. <laughs> Can I get a better angle of this, please? No, we're not. We're just gonna have the fucking that camera angle where absolutely nothing is shown. Alright, sure. Sounds good. It is kind of annoying to see it clearly just cycling through a couple of camera angles. That would have been pretty good. Ah, these would have been some pretty good camera angles if the camera angles weren't such shit. There's so many opportunities for good spots, but like every camera in this shit is awful. Every single camera angle is terrible. All right, so we have finally dethroned Warren. Now it is time for 
Damian. Some call him a natural racer, but Damian was born into MC. MC Hammer. The haters say he talks a lot of noise and has no skills to back it up. But who cares? Life of the party, love of the ladies. He's found rocking the mic more often than wrenching under his car. What? If he spent as much cash on boost as he does on bling, his twin turbo Z would have the power to compete with the big boys on the one gone. Oh my goodness. Still, it is a Z. Oh my goodness gracious, the fucking biographies. <laughs> Remind me to read every biography. This is gonna be more entertaining than the actual playthrough, dude. Fuck. Okay. Anyway, this guy is the final man on the uh, this group. <laughs> you couldn't find a more ragtag group of characters than the you even fucking tried, man. All right, speed is happening, question mark. Maybe. Speed? Okay, speed is happening now. All right. Oh, this is a speed battle. It's literally a speed battle. Whoever's going fastest at the end wins, I guess. I don't know. Perhaps we use fucking, uh, boost. Perhaps we use boost. Oh, dear. It must be a top speed battle. Now, going uphill, we're not really accomplishing a whole lot. We need to save the boost for when we're going downhill. Probably. Where is the finish line? That is a good question. That is a very good question. It literally is just a top speed battle. Okay, all right. In that case, we're going downhill, so perhaps we use the boost now. Oh, we hit 170. We hit 171, there we go, 171.6. I have to imagine that's what we need. I feel that's just what I needed, hopefully. Now, it kind of does, you know, negate the point of having a race when literally the only thing that they measure is the fastest speed that you reach over the course of the event and, like, literally the rest of the event does not matter unless this is like a speed trap race in uh, Need for Speed where once you cross the line the other driver's score goes down or something, I don't know. Alright, we are still driving. We are, in fact, still driving. Out of nitrous, it does not regenerate in this game, which kind of sucks. But I feel like we have accomplished the speed thing in the jig mission. Unfortunately, I still have to continue driving, because apparently just accomplishing it is not enough. We have to complete the race. Completing the race is required. So that's pretty nifty. Anyway, we're still playing this game. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna need to find some conversations, because this literally is just driving in a straight line. And we're so far away from the other dude, he must have used all of his nitro already, because, good lord, he's still at 144. Alright, there is the end of the race. Wow. That was in-depth stuff right there. In-depth stuff. Alright, so I just un unlocked a bunch of stuff. I unlocked a Drift Charm and... Astaroth Vinyl. I don't know what the fuck that is. You know, Namco fucking owns uh, Ace Combat by this point in this game. What they should have had was fucking uh, Plane Charms. That would have been some good shit. I'm pretty sure there aren't Plane Charms. It's all just a bunch of Tekken stuff. But I will say, I bought a Tekken game just because of this. Just to see what it was like. No. It was boring. Oh god, hello? Oh no, dude, I, I I completely forgot. Once you beat a bunch once you beat the group's lackeys, you unlock the group's boss. I see, I see. It is in fact boss race time. Let's go, dude. Let's fucking go. It's boss race time. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy! We're doing a boss race. Let's do the boss race. I'm excited for the boss race, dude. Here we go. Slowly, the camera descends on this Sylvia. It's Trin. Yay. $6,000 for beating your ass. As the leader of Daily Driven, Trin is the foundation of the crew. But behind the wheel, his focus shifts to studying the dynamics of his car on the Wangan. 
not convinced that drifting is the best use of a Sylvia. Trin has set his sights on building a grip spec Street Able S14. It's still early in the buildup, but stage two is in sight. Good lord, the amount of lore associated with these faceless fucking randos that you race against once the entire game. The amount of effort put into this nonsense is like... You, you, you don't even know, dude. You don't even know. What's going on in this game? Alright, it's the final race of the whatever league this is. Let's drive the car in a straight line a little bit. Yay, driving in a straight line is happening. Alright, oh, Trin has got some speed. But don't worry, I have stage 4 nitrous, so it's all good. Alright, we're facing off against Trin, who cannot drive in a straight line. This is literally... This entire fucking competition is based off driving in a straight line and my man can't do it. My man comes up on one piece of traffic and he's like, oh, oh, oh. like fucking spooked, spooked his ass. Oh my goodness, we're just comparing this game to a bunch of better games. All of which we've played for the channel. I was thinking about trying Midnight Club 3 again, but like that game is just, ugh. that game is a bit much. Even for me, dude. Even for me. Even for me, who is the absolute top masochist gamer on all of NASCAR YouTube. On all of YouTube. Fuck NASCAR YouTube. On all of YouTube, I'm the biggest masochist gamer on the fucking website. Alright. Well, we're still playing this game. Trin is still behind me, which is good. It is good that Trin is behind me. And on front... Oh, the race is over. Alright. <laughs> Alright. And the race is over. $6,000. So Toshi's hotspot is available. We've got Trin's car. Daily driven friendship sticker. We got a friendship sticker, motherfuckers. Let's go. 15% off front bumpers at all tune shops. Oh my goodness. 15% off all visual upgrades by slapping the daily driven friendship sticker on. I'm telling you, man. It's some good shit. These discounts stack up. You're gonna be fucking, like, watching Extreme Coupon. Menards wishes they had rebates like this. Goodness goddamn gracious, dude. We gotta slap that sticker on right away. I need that sticker. And I overdrove. Going 40 miles an hour into this corner, and I'm still overdriving the track. Oh! Oh! Oh, he's spinning! What a fucking Chad! What a fucking Chad! Did you see that? This absolute fucking beast! Oh my god, I can't even be mad! That was such a good save! Holy shit! That was so good. And I can't fucking drive forward because this car sucks and this track sucks and this game sucks. <laughs>